What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Trowel and for today's video I wanted to continue on with my collection series. Today's collection video is going to be the second day in this week and I'm going to be focusing in on my face palettes. Now I know a lot of other people would generally combine their face palettes with another category but if you know me you know I really get a lot of use I feel out of my face palettes. I really enjoy them and so I have quite a bit. I don't know how many I have in total but I know I have a lot. There is quite a stack. You guys saw it on the thumbnail. So I'm just going to stop talking. I'm going to go. I kind of just stacked them by like thickness and width and all that. So that's just kind of how we're going to go. It's going to be in a random order. So if you're interested in seeing my face palettes, let's get into it. And yes, I did record this look. This will be yet another Instagram tutorial. So if you are interested in a lot of my tutorials, I've been trying to combine both in tutorials here on my channel and also on my Instagram. So I would recommend following me on my Instagram. If you don't want to, just always be um, looking down below if you're interested in the looks and it'll tell you where to go for the look. So yeah, let's get into it. So I felt like we were a little too close, so I backed up my camera just a little bit, and here we go. The first palette I want to talk about is the newest face palette to this collection, and this is my Dior Backstage in the shade 05 Copper. This is the only Dior face palette that I have currently. I do have a couple other Dior face products, but not a face palette. I love every single shade in this palette and they all work beautifully on my complexion. I love this deep one. If you blend it in perfectly and efficiently, you only actually get the glitter left over on my skin. This other one up here, which is a copper one too, which is a coral glitter you quite literally get a lot of glitter in there but the base color is dark too or the base color is opaque so you also get that as well and then the other two are just really nice um, highlighters so I would highly recommend this particular face palette from Dior if you've wanted to try their formula and you are my complexion I would recommend this one the other two that they came out during holiday I don't think you'll be able to get as much use out of the full palette but you know to each his own um, but I would love to hear if you guys got the face palette during the other two or any of the other ones from Dior because that's the only one that I've picked up so far but I it wouldn't take me a lot to convince me to pick up another one the next recent one that I picked up actually is this one right here and this is from Caladios and this is their charisma contour palette this is in warm and deep and when they said this was warm and deep I assumed that even though this is supposed to be a contour palette it was going to be warm so I was thinking I was going to be able to use this as a bronzer to some extent for me this is definitely a darker and cooler tone and this one is the warmer tone with this being of course an under eye setting powder either way i don't necessarily love reaching for either of these two shades for an actual bronzer so i will only be using this as a contour palette and because of that i'm not going to get all that much use out of it just because i do not tend to contour on a regular basis my main thing is to bronze um but hopefully i will add contouring into my routine soon ish because I do have quite a few contour products and I do want to get use out of it but either way this is a really nice product if you do contour I would recommend it something I bought I think I got this I got this from um, Nordstrom Rack and this is a NARS palette and this is their Couture de Soleil cheek palette I really really enjoy this cheek palette you get one highlighter and two glowy blushes if you know me you know that i love a glowy blush today i'm actually wearing a matte blush which is really funny but i really do enjoy glowy blushes on a regular and honestly this would be Not too much, not too little. Yeah. So anyways, um, I really do enjoy this palette. I don't reach for it a lot, but I still get joy out of having it. So I'm not going to get rid of it yet. 
something from Flower Beauty that I wanted to pick up because a lot of people were talking about the lighter version of this and this is her Sun Kissed highlighting palette. This is probably going to be something that I eventually declutter in the upcoming year next year but for right now I'm happy with it. You get three different highlighting tones. This is more of a copier tone. This is more of a true gold and this is more of a bronzier tone. These are extremely pigmented, extremely out there and loud um, but they are very smooth so you're not going to get any glitter with that at all and it is drugstore ish the pricing to me isn't drugstore is it conducive to drugstore and I also just did not pick that up in the drugstore I'm pretty sure I actually bought that from the website because I was so intrigued and it came broken so yeah okay KVD Vegan Beauty I picked up the Metal Crush Palette pre debacle and I like it too much so I refuse to get rid of it. These are dual chrome. Are they dual chrome? These are glittery highlighters. I don't I can't say for certain if they're really dual chrome. I'd have to take another look at them. But this one is a more orangey tone. This one is like a whitier tone and this one is like a purple pinky tone. I like all of these specifically these two on the end. This middle one mm no but these two i really do enjoy so i am going to continue to keep this of course this is a collection video i don't know why i keep saying that but i really do like this palette um and i really do get a lot of use out of glittery highlighters i'm actually wearing an eyeshadow today as a highlighter i think i would need to this is the first time i wore it i actually tried the cleonid um glaze yeah, a glaze eyeshadow as a highlighter today. Um, I definitely would need to add more on there or maybe even do a cream base because it feels like and it looks like a lot of the shade actually popped off my skin. So to each his own. Anyways, next, I changed out this socks box. It used to be an eyeshadow palette. I took out the eyeshadows and I actually put three eyeshadows from Give Me, no, three eyeshadows from Give Me Glow. And this is a contour shade from an Etsy brand. I can't think of the name. I bought it so I'll try and remember to put the name on the screen. Um, they said that this was supposed to be a bronzer. To me it's too cool toned so I will only reach for this shade if I want to contour. Um, and there is glitter in the shade. Like if you look in the pan there's glitter but when you apply it there's nothing that shows up. So this is like the glittery matte shade with glitter that they use, people use to like have easier blending glitter. Er, easier blending mattes so yeah take that as you will I really do like this face palette though um and these give me glow shades are stupid pigmented so I think they work nicely as a uh face product you just have to blend them out for it to look seamless otherwise you're just gonna have a on your face okay my very first face palette is from Juvia's Place and this is the Saharan Blush volume one palette um this was my very first highlighter um that i actually got any use out of i didn't have any highlighters when i had this originally in my collection and this is the first highlighter that i hit pan and then i was like oh maybe i do like highlighter yay um i love this palette because i can get used out of every last shade i use this shade as a bronzer i use three three as blushes and i use this as a highlighter as well of course um i really do like this palette I will continue to keep this in my collection and hopefully I'll keep the urge of buying more face palettes because I have these. My next Juvia's Place palette that I have is the Queen palette. This was limited edition unfortunately but I'm so so happy I picked this up. I love Fumi. I love her to death. I watch a majority of her videos and I love that I can wear every last shade. Even this really what looks to be icy highlighter. I can actually wear it on my skin tone and it works beautifully. A majority of these are matter shades so I use them as blushes and then you have the two shades in the corners which I use as highlighters and yeah I'm not a huge fan of matte blushes anymore so I don't get too too much use out of a lot of these matter blushes but when I do want a matte blush I have them and I'm happy to keep them. I still have, why do I still have this sleeve? ABH Aurora palette. I picked this up from TJ Maxx and this is a really nice palette. You get some cool toned highlighter shades in there and these do have glitter. I really do like them um, and yeah good 
palette. I have my Fenty face palette, which a lot of people really did not give this palette the time of day. And this is still, this is still available at Sephora and it's actually on sale. Go figure. It's on sale, I think last time I checked for $15. I really do like this face palette. I know a lot of people really didn't like it and a lot of her products are just hit and miss for a lot of people. I like it. This is a nice glittery highlighter in the middle. This is a beautiful blush. This I can get away with being a bronzer if I use it lightly. The others I use strictly for highlighter and I really, really enjoy this palette and I don't want to get rid of it. I only have one contour palette in my collection and this is from Lunatic Cosmetics and this is their second volume palette. I am so happy I have this in my collection. I don't need to get yet another contour palette. I can get so many different shades of contour and different shades of bronzer as well. I can also kind of do a custom matching for um for a uh, for blush the only thing i actually wish that this was an actual yellow it's more of like an under eye setting powder which is fine like i'm not mad about it but i wish this was an actual like yellow blush then i wouldn't feel the need to get all these yellow blushes that are coming out of the woodwork so yeah either way i'm really happy with this palette and yeah i also have my ABH Dream Palette. You can only get this, I recently found out, from Beauty Lich and some other stores. It's no longer available in Sephora. And this, I don't know when you'll be seeing this video. Yes, I do. You'll be seeing this video after I do my mid um, check-in for this um, project pan and I actually hit pan already in the shade magic I'm so happy I hit pan I was getting so much use out of this palette and I put it away just so I can get use out of another face palette I haven't chosen which face palette I'm gonna get more use out of next but when I do finally go ahead and reach back for this palette I know I will get even more use out of it just because I really enjoy the formula once again this is a glittery palette so if you don't like glitter in your highlighter I would not recommend that one then I have my my Beauty Bakery Cotton Candy Champagne Highlighter um, Palette and I previously had this in a project pan and I did hit my goal. I stopped immediately after I hit pan because I was like, we're not going to repurchase this. I get that way on some of my favorite products um, and I really enjoy this face palette. Really, really enjoy it. I use these two as like really low highlighters blush topper combinations and I can use these two as truly actual highlighters so I get use out of this whole palette um, and I put this away after I hit my goal and then I reached in for my ABH one so I will eventually be picking up another face palette to hit another goal soon. Then we have the Love Lux Beauty See Me From Space highlighter palette and I keep this around because this is extremely unique for my collection and just in general you get a green this heliocentric and the supernova those are the three shades that i really reach for on a halfway consistent basis the other three i really just don't reach for this flare is actually too dark for me funny enough the other two are just icy so i can make it work i can definitely combine flare with the other two and make a perfect highlighter or highlighter to actually work on my complexion if you will um and the other three work without any um concoctioning but yeah i still enjoy this palette i still am happy i have it in my collection which is why it's going to stay there for now i have two z palettes worth of products um and i separated them based on the size of the pans so this is like the bigger size pan palette and i have two matte blushes on the bottom and everything else is sydney grace i really enjoy sydney grace's formula this is actually a blush these are um, highlighters and this is another blush and these two are blushes too I had intended to use this as a bronzer it's stupid pigmented though so I haven't really reached back into actually using it but you can and then this is a really nice neutral bronzer or neutral blush which I really really enjoy so I'm really happy I have those and then the last palette is all highlighters and these are smaller pans and a lot of these are from 
touch of glam beauty these are from beauty bar baby if i'm correct yep beauty bar baby and this one in the corner is from divina cosmetics which reminds me i have a whole bunch more divina highlighters i don't what did I do with them? I think I have another palette. Yeah, this is another palette. And then my, my for real, my last face palette is here. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. And these are a combination of things. These are some of my favorite cheek products that are in this single pans. This is a Wet n Wild Go Flutter Yourself, Don't Flutter Yourself, something like that. It was limited edition. Then we have a majority of my Davina and Luxy highlighters. These are depotted from an Obsessions palette. And then this one is, I don't even know what that one is. I think that one's, it was something I got gifted, Beauty Bar Baby, and that's a blush. So I'm really, really happy with this. I actually might fill some of these in here so I can have a whole empty Z palette. I hate when my Z palettes aren't fully compacted or whatever, but yeah, this is my face palette collection. I have quite a bit of face palettes. Um, and what I actually intend to do moving forward with my collection is I'm actually going to take the time to take pictures and I'm going to do a very similar thing that I'm doing with my nail polishes on my Pinterest. I'm going to create Pinterest boards for each part of my collection and I'm going to take pictures, post them on there so that when I am interested in picking something else up new that I think is interesting, I'm going to have at least a photo representation. I'll be able to see uh, that looks too close, uh, that I have some wiggle room, etc, etc. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This should have been a rather quick-ish video. Um, and I have, I have 16 face palettes and I love every last one of these. Like I said, I will be shopping to figure out what my next one that I'm going to be aiming to hit pan in. Um, but I would love to have pan on like all my face palettes at one point um, because it'll just show you guys that I really do enjoy my face palettes and I really do get a lot of use out of them. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys right now i hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always y'all black lives do matter please remember to wear a mask and stay safe and i would love it if you guys take the time to subscribe to my channel like this video and also check out my instagram like i said earlier i've been really trying to beef up my content over there as best as i can so yeah i will see you guys in my next video